as I was looking for that other shoe, I found this pair. I'm freaking pumped about this. All right, guys, we're back at this thrift store. This is a little thrift store in a town that has about 4,500 people. Uh, stick around to the end of this video if you want to see how much money we pulled off of the shelves in just one hour of sourcing. Hey, good morning. Good, how are you? Awesome. Like I said, this thrift store uh, is in a town of about 4,500 people, and so it's quite amazing what you can get in a tiny thrift store with so few people. This is a very small little town uh, that I'm shopping in, and this thrift store has never disappointed me. I, every single time I've come in here, I've walked away with good money. First thing is this pair of floral vans. Uh, they're known as vintage floral vans. The shoes are not vintage, but the look of the floral uh, is a vintage look. Here are a pair of size 15 Cole Haan. The comps for those were $25, and so I put them back. Plus size 15, I don't want to sit on anything that long. Keds by Rifle Paper Company, some good comps there. I found this pair of Nikes. I wanted to show you this, that you always need to check the air bubble in the heel of the shoes. This one was just totally destroyed, so I put them back. Other than that, they were in good condition. This pair of New Balance right here, very basic pair, but worth some money, so I definitely threw them up in the cart. Just going around looking at different things. Oftentimes in these videos, I don't show the mega losers or the shoes that just don't mean anything. I wanna show you just what I'm picking up and what I'm looking at. There are some shoes that you'll see where I just pick it up and put it back. I'm doing this to show you that it's catching my eye and just so you can kind of maybe pick up on my thought process or what I'm looking at, what I'm looking for. So I don't wanna only show you bangers, but I don't wanna fill up a video with nonsense footage of me just going through all the garbage there. My aim is to put together shorter meat and potato type videos to where I'm not putting a lot of fluff into the video. You're seeing what I'm buying. I also don't want my videos to ever come off as a flex like, just showing you only the good stuff and you don't see all the garbage that I have to sort through. Uh, and there's a lot of that garbage. With that being said, let's get back to it. This is a pair of Under Armour size 15. There were a bunch of size 15 shoes. They wanted $30 for these. So I put them right back up there. Even if they were less, I would not have picked them up. This pair of Saucony Cohesion 10s. They were a boy's size seven, but I listed them as a women's size eight and a half. Uh, this pair of Skechers. Just a nice $20 bread and butter pair. Those sell in no time. I did find these Keds right here, vintage leather Keds. I almost bought them. However, when I got up to the counter, uh, I was putting all my stuff on the counter to get checked out and I took the shoes and I felt the bottom and they felt real plasticky, not like rubber, which told me that they were dry rotted. And so I, I took the sole up and I bent and they just completely cracked. And so I told the lady I would not be buying them uh, because they were in such terrible condition. I don't think a buyer would be able to even wear those shoes one time before they completely got destroyed. So buying something like that is definitely, definitely just asking for a return or a negative review. Going down here, I saw a very basic pair of bubblegum pink Converse, so I picked those up. Also this pair of New Balance that are solid color with the leopard print. I just sold a pair of those recently for $40, but they were black and leopard print. And so I definitely picked up the purple one. The pink Converse do really well. Uh, pretty much any kind of solid color Converse do really well. A basic pair of Vans Authentics right here. A nice, easy $20 pickup. I found these Asics, very good condition and a quick $35 sale, no problem. Pair of Mizuno uh, running shoes. These, um, these were really good. And then as I was down there, I spotted another pair of Skechers. The Skechers were uh, a decent little $30 sale item. And then those Sauconies were coming in for a nice $40 comp. Uh, this pair of Skechers, it's just a slip on foam thing. Uh, I did not get a comp on those, but I'm gonna put them for 20 bucks. Here's another pair of Nikes where you can see the air bubble is just completely blown out. There's no tension on it whatsoever. So even though the shoes were in otherwise good condition, I put them back. This pair of Adidas, I had a hard time finding comps for this, but eventually I did. And they seem like they'll be worth it for a sale of $30. A pair of Colorblock Youth Vans, an easy $20 sale item. And then I found this pair of Georgia Giant Youth Leather Boots. I found the exact sizes on eBay in the comps for $30 to $40. I'm gonna put them at 30 because these are a little bit more worn. This pair of Timberland Smart Wool. I've never seen these before, but it's almost like a house shoe and an outdoor shoe all in one going for $40. So I picked those up. Another size 15, scooting around the other customers here, headed down to that bin where we see a lot of shoes poking out. 
going right through, and I'm finding stuff right off the bat. This pair of Adidas Superstars, this is an 11 and a half, and they're going for about $40 plus shipping. This pair of Nikes here, the bubbles felt good on them, super clean, $45 pair. Going through, I found a pair of triple white uh, Air Force Ones, not bad. I found these foam posits. I was so disappointed that that one was really super bald. However, as I'm making this video, I'm going back and thinking, dang, I really should have just picked those up and sold the one shoe by itself as an amputee listing uh, without the bald shoe. Just throw the bald shoe away and sell the other shoe as an amputee shoe. Uh, basically, if you look that up, folks that shop on eBay that only have one foot, uh, they often buy just single shoes like this. So your buyer base definitely shrinks very substantially. However, there's not a lot of supply for people in that type of situation. And so uh, it's definitely doable to do this. Just recently, a few days ago, I sold one boot that I bought from this store for $1. I sold that one boot for $26 uh, by itself as an amputee shoe. And so it only took a week to sell. Uh, I definitely should have picked these up. And guys, if you're getting any value out of this, I just want to encourage you to drop a like for the YouTube algorithm. I found that this basic pair of Nikes right here, uh, $20 pair, nothing fancy, nothing special. Another pair of superstars in great condition so 40 bucks for those two is what we're estimating and then i found this keds the bee and the fox collaboration but as i was looking for that other shoe i found this pair and i'm freaking pumped about this this is a pair of mizuno wave prophecy threes now Two weeks ago, I went for my very first time, I went for the very first time to a store and I bought a pair for $12. I bought a pair of Wave Prophecy 4s uh, for 12 bucks and they sold within one week for $95 plus shipping. So I am absolutely pumped to find a home run, a $70 home run like that one, literally the following week from selling the other pair. Uh, this is a woman's pair, it's not $95, but it is a nice $70 sale that will come through on that. We'll be holding firm on that price uh, because those are going for 70 bucks all day long. Very excited to find those. Here we go, we found the other for these. Uh, this is a collaboration, there was only one sold comp for that collaboration for $30, so we left it right there at 30. I might go a little bit higher than that. Some L.L. Bean slippers slash house shoes going for about $35 on those. And then we found these Michael Kors flats going for $29 right there. And those are in new condition. They still have the sticker on them. A very basic pair of Adidas. So I'm going to put those at 20 bucks. And then finally, for the last find that we have video footage of, this pair of Zumba athletic shoes. Four, 10, 15, 16, 9, 30. 30 pairs for 164. 164 divided by 30, exactly $5.46 per pair. Before we jump into the final numbers and talk about what the net profit is on this thrifting trip, I wanted to let you know that there were a few pairs of shoes that I did pick up that I did not get on camera. And so I did not include them in these numbers because I don't want it to seem like I'm inflating anything. However, here are a couple screenshots of the comps for those shoes. Uh, nothing spectacular, some good stuff, but uh, I just wanted you to know that there were a couple more pairs of shoes that we did pick up, but they're not included in these numbers. I'm just sharing with you what I was actually able to show you. Some of it I did not get on film. All right, so let's talk the numbers really quickly here as far as profit goes. So we walked out of the store with $872 worth of shoes at the sold comp prices that I showed you plus shipping. If we take that $872 and we subtract 20%, which is the highest percentage of fees that can be charged to me selling on Poshmark, we come away with $697.60. Now, if I sell these shoes on eBay or Mercari, that percentage, that seller fee percentage goes way down. Uh, eBay is about 13%. Mercari is 10%. But for the sake of this video, I'm just estimating based on the highest percentage that it could possibly be, which is 20%. So after this, because we're charging shipping on, on top of all of this, uh, we're not gonna be offering free shipping. We don't have to deduct any shipping costs. 
Finally, the last thing to do is to subtract the initial cost of goods, which is $164, because we're looking at the net profit. And for that number, we get $533.60. So to be able to go to the thrift store and spend about an hour there to pick up all of these shoes, 30 pairs, and then walk away with $533.60 worth of net profit. Of course, we'll take a couple hours to clean everything, photograph everything, and then list it. This definitely counts as one of the best ways to make money online in 2022. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.